Thank you. So we'll wait like one or two minutes and then we'll start class. Uh, Ashley and Andrea, could you? Oh, hi, Ashley. Andrea, could you turn on your camera, please? Thank you. Oh, on um, Jason, could you also keep your camera on? Thank you. And I think we can start now. We have, I think, most people here. So, today's class will be led by me. My name is Stephanie, and we have Kaylin. So today we will be going over a conversation and reviewing last week's homework. We also have a lesson, a game, and we will tell you guys this week's homework. So for this week's conversation and homework, we will be talking about what you did to celebrate Chinese New Year. So let's go with Sophie. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Uh, I played with my sister. Oh, you played with your sister. What did you play with your sister? Like, what games did you play, or what did you do with your sister? I played game with my sister. Oh, what games? Do you understand the question, or do you want me to translate the question for you? Oh. So the question I'm asking is, 你跟你的姐姐或者妹妹玩了什么游戏? Uh, You can say it in Chinese if you don't know what it is in English. If you don't want to answer, that's okay, and we can move on to the next person. Okay, that's okay. Marin, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Uh, I, I play fireworks to celebrate Chinese New Year. Oh, you put off fireworks. Did you like the fireworks? Yes. Did you eat anything yummy? I eat dumplings. You ate dumplings. What was in the dumplings? Marin, what was in the dumplings? Uh, I the dumplings 
in the dumplings is the pork meat. Pork. That sounds very pork. yummy. Pork. Yeah. Ah,、oh, that sounds very yummy. Thank you for sharing, Marin. Well. Ah,、uh, Li Jingyi, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? I watched the Spring Festival Gala. Oh, you watched the Spring Festival Gala. What was your favorite、uh, show on that? What? Ah,、uh, which was your favorite show or act on that? What is? 就是你春晚最喜欢的呃节目是是节目节目是什么？节目节目 I forget. Oh, you forget. That's okay. Uh, did you eat anything yummy this week? Yes. What did you eat? Dumplings. Oh, dumplings! What was in the dumplings that you ate? What? Uh, what was in the dumplings? Uh, meals. Could you say that again? Uh, some meals. Oh, that sounds very good. Thank you for sharing. Um, is that? Hold on. I think it's Ashley. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? I played hide and seek with my friends Mei Mei. I ate noodles. Oh, that's that's a very good answer. Thank you. Uh, what type of noodles did you eat? I um、mm, I. Hmm. I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. Do you know what the noodles are called in Chinese? Ashley, do you know what the noodles you ate are called in Chinese? Yes. What is it called in Chinese? Ashley, what are the noodles that you ate called in Chinese? It's okay if you don't know. If you don't know, we can move on to the next person. Okay, I don't know if Ashley is gonna answer. So, Kaylin, do you want to do the next few people? I can't um see any of like the people. Okay, never mind. Coco. <laughs> What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Eat a big dinner and and play games. Oh, what did you eat at the big dinner? Dumplings. Dumplings. Oh, Nico. 
火锅。火锅，火锅 in English is called hot pot. Hot pot and、uh, other foods. Yeah, I love hot pot too. What did you play? You read me. Oh, isn't that what we played in class sometimes? Yes. Ah,、oh, very good. Thank you for sharing, Coco. Next is Rachel. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? I eat 年糕 and play fireworks. You ate nian gong and played fireworks. What was your favorite? Uh, what type of fireworks did you do? Did you do big ones or the small ones? Um,、uh, big and small. Oh, you did both. Did you like the big ones or the small ones more? Um,、uh, I like small ones. Small ones. The small ones are very fun. Did you go anywhere else? I go to the park. You went to the park. Did you go with your family or did you go with your friends? With grandpa. Oh, you went with your grandpa. Did you do anything fun at the park? Um, we uh watch fish and birds. Oh, you watch fish and birds. That seems very fun. Thank you, uh, Rachel. Tony, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Um, in the in the New Year's, I go to my grandpa and grandma's house, and I play the firecrackers, and we have a big feast. Fe feast. And then,、um, I go to,、um, I to cook the dumplings. Oh, so you went you to your grandparents' house and you cooked dumplings. What did you put inside the dumplings? Um, maybe some vegetables or some meat, such as、um, beef mutton or pork, and set. Vegetables such as mm, mm, such as cabbages, carrots, tomato, tope, potato, and so on. Oh, what is your favorite thing to eat in a dumpling? Um, maybe is、mm, is some cabbages and pork. Oh, cabbage and pork. That's my favorite dumpling too. Did you do anything else at your grandparents' house?、Mm, and I play, I play with some little animal in my grandpa and grandma's house. And there has some little animals such as rabbits, pig, little pig, and a puppy and a cat. Oh, that seems so fun! I want to play with animals too. Thank you for sharing, Tony. Ah,、uh, Yan Jingyuan, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Hmm. Don't hear. Don't hear. Can you? 听不清吗？说高一点，听不清。杨金元 ，Can you hear me? 嗯、uh,。If you can hear me, can you answer? What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? 啥喽？看你 under do you understand the question? 啥、uh, ？啊，你这个问题你听懂了吗？没有
，所以这个问题就是问你，呃，春秋春春秋节，呃，怎怎么过的？嗯。So how did you celebrate Chinese New Year? Yan Jing Yuan Ni, can you hear me? Ni Ting De Dang. Ni, uh, now I understand the question is about what. So this question is about your Chinese New Year. 怎么过的？所以你能用英文回答这个问题吗？我我，或者你可以用中文回答，然后我们能帮你翻成英文。所以你这个春秋节你怎么过的？不知道该怎么回答。像你吃，你这个春秋节你吃了什么？或者你有没有跟朋友 noodles？ 没有什么特别有意义的事情来说。啊、oh, ，没事。所以你就是跟平常过的一样。Yes. Oh, that's okay. So in English, you can say there was nothing interesting. That's one way to answer the question. So thank you for sharing. Not everyone uh celebrates very interestingly. And that's okay. So next we have Theodore. How did what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Uh, I ate chow, I ate dumplings, and and I played with my with my parents and my friends. Um, uh, we are very happy, and um, uh, we meet. We meet my uncle. Oh, you ate dumplings and then you played with your family and friends. What did you play with your family and friends? Um, we go to we go to have a um, 就是我们一起去游泳。Oh, yoyong in English is go swimming. Go swimming. Yeah. Go swimming. Good job. Did you like swimming? Yes. Did you eat anything else other than dumplings? Um. No. What? No. That's okay. Yes. So you went swimming with your family and friends, and you ate dumplings. That's very cool. Thank you for sharing. Um,、uh, Andrea, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Andrea, are you there? Andrea, can you hear me? Oh, I is Andrea. Can you hear me? If you can, could you answer this question?
Uh, we will come back to you, Andrea. Li Xingzhe, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Oh, uh, I go I go to all the I go to uh uh I go to the city with my family. Uh, we eat a hot uh we eat a hot dog and uh, uh drink uh drink a coffee uh drink a coffee. Mm. Uh, 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 and, uh, 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 I uh I go to uh old city. Oh, the old city. That's very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Um, I'm not sure who. Uh, oh, Jason, are you there? If you, Jason, if you you're there, could you turn on your camera? Okay. Jason, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Um, um, I went to the mountains with my family. Uh, I play fireworks and I eat dumplings. Oh, you went to uh, the mountains and you ate dumplings and played fireworks. What was your favorite part about the mountains? My favorite mountain is Huashan mm. Mountain. Oh, that sounds very cool. Did you eat anything other than dumplings? Uh, I eat. Dumpling. You ate what? Yao Tai Wei. Oh, that sounds very cool and yummy. Thank you for sharing. I think we got to. Oh, Andrea, if you're there, can you unmute your mic? Andrea, are you there? I don't think Andrea is there, so we will move on. Okay. So this week's lesson will be the Olympics. Summer Olympics history. The Olympics began in Greece. They started 3,000 years ago in honor of the Greek god Zeus. The first modern Olympics were in 1896. The Olympics are the world's biggest sports competition. 33 different sports are featured during it. They cost around $5 billion to run. Um, can you call on someone, Stephanie? Uh, yeah. Ashley, what okay. is your favorite Olympic sport? I like my favorite sport, all Olympic sport is 
is Skate. Skate? Like figure skating? Yes. Oh. Very good. Thank you. Jason, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Uh. You don't know? Do you know what an Olympic sport is? Could you say that again? My favorite Olympic sport is swimming. Swimming. Oh, that's very interesting. Thank you. You can go on. Computer's kind of fudging right now. Okay, there we go. So, Winter Olympics history. The first winter sport competition was called the Nordic Games. The first one was held in 1896 in Chamoinix, the French Alps. It included six sports, bobsleigh, ice hockey, Nordic skiing, and skating. This winter sport was always in Sweden. And only countries in Scandinavia competed. And the winter sports became part of the Olympics in 1925. So up until 1925, winter sports were not part of the Olympics. They were only part of the Nordic Games. And these two maps show where the first uh, winter sports occurred. Um, Tony, do you know any other winter Olympic events? Mm. I just know the skating and and the ice hockey. Oh, skating and ice hockey. Do you know the different types of skating? Mm, I know ha um, it has two kinds of skating. is one of a boy and other of a girl. Yeah, that's a uh that's a type of figure skating. There is also and, an... it, and there has two people to have a skating and one people to have a skating. Yeah, very good. And China's a uh, pair, which is one boy one girl skating, is very good. Yeah. I forgot their names, but they're very good. Thank you for sharing, Tony. Theodore, do you know any other Winter Olympic events? Uh, mountain skating. Mountain skiing? Uh, yeah, mountain Gaoshanhuaxie is called mountain skiing. So skiing is a little bit different from skating, but they are both sports in the Winter Olympics. Good job. Thank you for sharing. Next.
past Olympics. The Olympics have been hosted in 19 different countries. Um, can you like call on someone? Uh, Yan Jing Yuan. So what are some cities you know that have hosted the Olympics? Yan Jing Yuan, do you know some cities that have hosted the Olympics? So, this question is: Do you know some cities? 就是 host 就是哦，等一下，对不起 ，host 就是像那个奥运会就在哪个城市过？啥喽？呃，在哪个城市那个奥运会组织过？哪个城市组织过奥运会？东京，呃，北京，还有是，还有是希腊。希腊和北京 ，very good。So 希腊 in English is Greece。And Rachel also said Beijing, which is a very good. Beijing actually is hosting two Olympics, one summer and one、uh, winter. And Tony said Paris and Tokyo. And those are all very good answers. Thank you to everyone who answered. This is a picture of the eight. Yeah. Of eighteen ninety six in Greece, and this is the first Olympics. And this is a picture of the Olympics in nineteen eighty four when it was held in the United States. This is the Olympics two thousand and eight when it was held in China. So this year. The Winter Olympics are held in Beijing, China. So Beijing, China is hosting the 2022 Winter Olympics, and these Winter Olympics are taking place from February 3rd to February 20th, 2022. Li Xingzhe, what events are you most excited to watch? Um. Oh. I. Oh. I watch. Oh. Do you understand the question? Oh. So, for example, if I were to answer this question, I would say I am most excited to watch figure skating. So, what events are you most excited to watch? Hmm. Uh. 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 This. What does it mean? So, this question is asking you to choose which event you are most excited to watch. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, I watch. Uh, I watch. A skating competition. Oh, skating! Did you, do you do you like figure skating or what type of skating? Yes. Oh, you like skating. Very good. Thank you. Li Jingyi, what uh what events are you most excited to watch? Quad skating. Oh, that's very fun. Thank you. Let's go to Marin. Do you prefer to watch the Winter Olympics or the Summer Olympics? Mm, I prefer to watch the Winter Olympics. Oh, you like to watch the Winter Olympics. Is it because yeah. you like to watch skating? Mm, yeah. Oh, very good. Thank you. And Rachel, do you prefer to watch the Winter Olympics or the Summer Olympics? I'm not watching. Oh, you don't watch the Olympics. That's okay. I don't watch it that much either. You can go to the next one. Okay. So, winter sports, skiing. One type of skiing is alpine or downhill skiing. Sliding down snowy slopes on skis with fixed heel bindings, unlike cross country or ski jumping skis. Ski jumping. Competitors aim to jump and land as far as possible. They slide down a curved ramp with their skis. Cross country skiing. Only the toe of your boot is attached to your ski. May have been practiced in 600 BCE in Daoxing Aling, in what is now China, and freestyle skiing. Skiers perform flips and spins, which combines skiing and acrobatics. So, can you call on someone for this? Jason, which skiing event would you try? I don't see. Can you repeat that? Hmm. Out of these four, which type would you like to try? Are you saying something? Because we can't hear you. Jason, if you're saying something, we can't hear you. Uh, I try ski jumping. Oh, ski jumping. That looks very fun. Thank you. Next. Winter sports skating. 
Speed skating is a type of skating where you skate around a track and whoever finishes with the shortest time wins. Short track speed skating is the same as speed skating, but it's on a shorter track. And here is a picture of someone in speed skating. Figure skating is a performance on the ice with jumps, turns, and dance movements. Figure skating is graded on technical elements and artistry. And here is a picture of one of China's most famous figure skating pairs. So, uh, Coco, which type of skating would you most like to try? I want to try short, short track band ska skating. Short track speed skating. That's very unique. Why do you want to try the short track speed skating? Yes, because it, it, it is so cool. It's cool. I agree. Yeah. I like short track speed skating as well. Um, Marin, I've heard that you do figure skating. Is Marin here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to share something about figure skating? Mm, no. No? That's okay. Tony wants to try figure skating as well. Tony, have you ever figure skated before? Mm, I just I just mm, I I just been to skating, but I never to skating the figure skating because that is a little bit difficult. Oh, so you've just like skated but you haven't done jumps or turns. That's same yeah. with me. I can't do jumps or turns either. Rachel, you like figure skating as well. Do you want to share something about figure skating? I think um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I agree. I love watching figure skating. It's one of my favorite events to watch. Thank you everyone for sharing. We can go on now. So now we are going to be talking about the boards in the winter sports. So snowboarding. Snowboarding is the sport or activity of traveling down snowy slopes using a snowboard. And snowboarding first became an Olympic sport in 1998. And this is a picture of that. Lug. Lug is also called Lug tobogganing. It is a form of small sled racing. And it is the only sliding sport measured to the thousandth of a second. And this is a picture of that. Skeleton. Someone slides a small sled down a frozen track while lying face down and head first. And it is named skeleton because of how the sled looks. And this is an example of that. And bobsledding. When you're doing bobsledding, you are racing in a bobsled. It is a team sport. It is named bobsled because the athletes would bob back and forth to gain speed and go faster. And the sled can reach speeds of more than 80 miles per hour. So can you call on someone to answer um, 
why skeleton is called skeleton? Um, Sophie. Why is the sport skeleton named skeleton? Named Do you understand the question? Oh. So, why is the sport skeleton named skeleton? It named skeleton because of how the sled looks. Very good. Exactly. So the sport skeleton is named that because the board looks like a skeleton. Good job. So other sports. So the biathlon is a combination of cross country skiing and rifle shooting. Nordic Combined is an event which is a combination of cross-country skiing and ski jumping. And curling is a sport similar to ice hockey where players slide stones to a rink in the middle of the ice rink. And ice hockey is where players Use a long stick to slide around a puck into a goal. It can be compared to soccer. So it's like soccer on ice. And here is a picture of ice hockey. This is a picture of either biathlon or Nordic combined because both include cross-country skiing. And this, this one is Nordic combined, and then this one I think is the biathlon. Oh, okay. So this one is Nordic combined because this is ski jumping, and then this one is biathlon because you can see they are shooting a rifle. And this is curling. They are trying to get the disc as close to the middle as possible. So, let's see who I haven't called on yet. Mike, if you're there, could you please turn on your camera? Um, I don't know if Mike is here. I also don't know who I haven't called on. Oh, I think Rachel. Uh, Rachel, which sport seems the most interesting to you? I don't know what is the quest question. The question means, like, which of these four sports do you think is the most interesting? Interesting means 有意思。所以这四个里，你觉得哪个最有意思？ Ice hockey. Ice hockey. I think that's very interesting too. It has a lot of excitement. Let's see who else I haven't called on. Mm. Did uh, if anyone wants to answer, you can answer because I do not remember who I have called on and who I have not called on. Uh, 
Okay, that's okay. I think everyone has answered a question. And this is the last slide, and now we will be playing a game. The game is called First Letter, Last Letter, and the way it works is somebody will say a word that is in a concept. For example, we can use objects. And so if someone says something like box, then you would use the last letter of the word, and that would be the first letter of the next one. Like if you say box, the next word could be xylophone. That's Does also everybody... a very hard uh, example. So <laughs> another example could be if we were talking about animals. If the first word is dog, which is an animal, the last letter of dog is G. So the next word would start with G. So a word that would start with G, an animal that would start with G would be goat. And then the next person would choose an animal that starts with a T because the last letter of goat is T. So like tiger. And we continue like that. Yes, Rachel, that's very right. Uh, that's very good. Sorry. So does everyone understand? Should we move this to the whiteboard so we can like write out the words? No, it's okay. They can just say it. Okay. Um, so Tony understands. If anyone has any questions or would like me to explain the rules in Chinese, I can. Uh, yes, Ashley is very right. So, we will start with animals. And I will start with the first word, which will be cat. So, we can start with Ashley. What is, what would be the next word? Tiger. Can you say that again? Tiger. Tiger. Very good. Coco, what is the next word? Line. Uh, could you say that again? Lion. Lion. Uh, well, tiger ends with the letter R. So do you know any animal that starts with the letter R? Rabbit. Oh, Jason said rabbit. Very good. Rachel also said rabbit. Yes, rabbit starts with the R and ends with the T. So, uh, Coco, do you want to try again? What's a animal that starts with the letter T that isn't tiger? Turtle. Turtle. Very good. Um, I I know Rachel said Ugwe, which is turtle in the chat. Who said turtle? Who said turtle like saying? I don't know, but that's okay. Um Marin. 
What is the next word? The last letter of turtle is E. Elephant. Elephant. Very good. Yeah, elephant starts with the letter E. And Rachel also said that. Um, and next we will go to Tony. What would be the next letter, I mean, next word? Is the T, isn't T, we can, we can do it. Yes, it is T. Can you think of an animal that starts with T? Um, I think... If you can't think of a I animal, can. oh yes, I count. I count. Um, think. I don't know the animal. Hmm. That's okay. If you can't think of another animal. We can move on to foods. And Rachel said tiger, but we already did tiger. So we are thinking tiger. of we are thinking tiger. of more. Sorry? Tony, can you think of a food that starts with T? Um, it has tomato. Tomato. Very good. So next we will do the xingzhe. Can you think of a word, uh, a food that starts with O? Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. So Rachel said orange, which is very good. Can you think of another word or do you want to use orange? Oh, 对, 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 orange, 对. Yeah, very good. Rachel and Li Xingzhe both said orange. So we can, Li Xingzhe, do you want to think of one that starts with an E? E, uh, E, oh, yeah, E. So, for example, 鸡蛋 in English oh, is... What is 鸡蛋 in English? Egg. Very good, Tony. So, that is how the uh, game will work. Theodore also said egg. So did Rachel. Very good. So, that is how the game will work. We will play the game again in future classes. But today we are out of time, so we will first, uh, we will explain the homework. The homework is, did you watch the Winter Olympics? If so, what was your favorite moment or event? 
So, does everyone understand the homework? If you don't understand the homework, we can help you. I don't know. You don't know what the homework is. So, the homework is asking, 你有没有看冬奥运会? Yeah. Uh, 你要是看了你最喜欢的节呃等一下你最喜欢看的呃你最喜欢看的 运动是什么？对不起，我中文不是很好。所以，呃，你最喜欢看的项目是什么？Yeah, very good. So that will be the homework this week, and next week we will talk about this question. And that is oh. the end of. Oh, Jason, did you have a question? No. Okay. So this this will be the end of today's class. If you have any questions, you can ask in the group chat. But thank you for coming today. Class is dismissed. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Bye. Bye. Have a beef week. You too. Bye. Bye, everybody.